Hey guys, welcome to the 2018 MCAT preparation question series. So today's question is this one here. So as usual, have a read through this question, pause the video and have a go by yourself. Okay, hopefully you've had a chance to actually have a play around with this question. So what we have is we've actually got a quadratic here. So we've got 2x squared minus 3 equals 5x. And it basically what we got to do for this particular question is factorize and solve for x. So anytime you have a quadratic, uh, the first thing you really want to do is, I mean, especially when you're trying to solve it, is make one of the right-hand side equal to 0. So I'm going to rewrite this equation as 2x squared. Now when I transfer 5x to the left-hand side, it becomes minus 5x. And I've got minus 3 equals to 0. Now, if you've been following my earlier videos, then you know that uh, to uh, factorize this particular quadratic, uh, we've got a bit of a couple of steps that we need to actually follow. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take 2 and multiply it by negative 3, which equals to negative 6. So I'm literally looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and also add up to negative 5. Now, if you're wondering where I got the negative 5 from, that's right there. So in this case, the two numbers are going to be negative 6 and positive 1. And so once I get the negative 6 and positive 1, I need to split the negative 5x as negative 6x and positive 1x. Okay, so I will show you guys how to do that. So basically what we have is 2x squared. And I'm going to use basically this right here, negative 6 and 1. So I'm going to write that as negative 6x minus 1x. And as for the minus 3, I'm going to leave it as it is. So once I do this, the next part is splitting up the, the equation into two parts. Factorize the left-hand side of the dotted line and then factorize the right-hand side for, of the dotted line. So with the first part, you can see that when you've got 2x squared and negative 6x, 2x is a common factor. So I can write that as like this, 2x, and that would become x minus 3. Now, as for the dotted line, I can see that negative is a common factor, negative 1. So I'm going to take negative 1 out, and I'm left over with x minus 3 equals to 0. So at this point, because x minus 3 is a common factor, I can actually take x minus 3 out. And what I'm left over with is 2x minus 1. Now if you were not sure where the 2x and minus 1 came from, so the 2x came from here, and the negative 1 popped over to here. So now I've factorized this quadratic and I've got two fractions. I need to find the solutions for them. So that means I've got x minus 3 equals to 0 or 2x minus 1 equals to 0. So in my first equation, that's nice and easy because I can see that x is equal to 3. In my second equation, I've got 2x is equal to positive 1 because when I take negative 1 to the other side, it's positive 1. And then x is equal to 1 over 2. So, I guess if you go back to the question, the question says, you know, one, one of the options for the number is 3, which we already have. So the other possible answer is 0 0.5. So we just want to write that as a little statement. Uh, possible answer is 1 over 2. Cool. That's basically it for this short little video, guys. Thank you for watching. And as usual, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.